Terra Luna Classic is a massive opportunity. And in this video, we're going to talk about how it's going to make you a millionaire. With this, we need to look at, first of all, where the price is going. So it's starting at 0.002 and it can rise between $1 and $100. So how does this make you a millionaire? We're going to talk about this. First of all, please check out my YouTube channel. Like this video if you enjoyed this sort of content. Comment on it. I'd love to know what and how much you're holding and subscribe. And let's go into the video. So how can you become a millionaire with Terra Luna Classic? Well, if we base it down to the single numbers of what you need to be holding in order to get to that number, we can run it through and we can see. So looking at a price point, if you're told a million tokens, you would need Terra Luna Classic to get to $1 to ensure that you're a millionaire. It's quite simple in terms of when we just base it down to simple numbers. So what it is, is your price divided by the amount of tokens you hold should give you an underlying value which is simple metrics that we're looking at. Um, but based on yesterday's video, when we look at it, it could easily get to $2 if the burn implements in the right way and there's no other factors and it just ensures that everyone's happy to do that level of burn for every time that the transactions do take place. Um, the numbers that I'm running with on that is around three months to ensure that you get to a Terra Luna Classic burn so that is based upon if you look at the current average volume that we have of around 1.5 billion and we start to implement that into a daily burn metric so that ensures i've got 1.65 at the moment but it's not too dissimilar and we would burn 1.2 percent of that we'd be literally burning around 72 billion dollars worth of tokens daily and that would destroy the supply in around three months time and that would automatically start to give us a price of around that one to two dollar mark so how that works is effectively we would have a supply of around 1 billion by that point um and if we were to just maintain our current market cap as you can see here 1.5 billion it's obviously higher than the 1 billion that we'd need to ensure a one dollar price point that is where we're looking at so it's more now looking at how much money do you need to start selling and ensuring you are getting the correct amount of money what to do with it as well so uh, to keep these numbers simple and easy, we're going to look at how much you'd need to just get 1 million Terra Luna Classic coins. So at this moment in time, if you were to put in $250, you would get just over a million Terra Luna Classic tokens. So we're just going to round numbers up to keep it simple for everybody. So if you were to put that in at this moment in time, running through the numbers, we would need $1 to get a million dollars. Obviously, when you run through this, it's not incorporating staking which i'm going to talk about in a second but with this if we were to sell at some points to start trying to get back our initial investment because obviously people need to keep in mind there is a lot of money so if you were to get to a cent and you were to sell maybe around 100k or so worth of your tokens you would take 10 grand worth of profit so ten thousand dollars worth of profit at that moment in time obviously that gets back your initial investment and then some and you're still riding it out for the long term. Obviously, when it comes to it in the one dollar mark, you're only at nine hundred k. But you have to keep that in mind. And this is not adding staking on top, so you can stake at the moment with Terra Luna Classic. Um, over seven percent of the circulating supply has already been implemented. It's been burnt, and you're getting around one point five four percent returns on a daily basis, which is huge. So when we start incorporating that into our overall metric for staking. We could see that, say we were to average 4.65%, we'd have an additional 46,000 tokens on top of our million supplies we're looking at. And they start to change the numbers. So it ensures when it gets to a dollar, that's an extra $46,000 worth of value you could be getting in the long term. Obviously, the three months could change depending on if not everyone plays ball with the burn and that starts to take place. But at the moment, what we need to be considerate of, the burn's only burnt 3 billion um Terra, Terra Luna Classic tokens at this moment in time and there should be a lot more and that's going to obviously boost volume in the short term it's more can we hold out for a long sustained period of time and people all buy into it with all the different exchanges I think it is possible maybe not on that short time horizon but if you're there to hold it out there is a very big possibility that you could be a Terra Luna Classic millionaire um, none of this is financial advice. I'd love to know how much you're holding. If you stay to the end, please comment how much Terra Luna Classic you have and are you be buying in more? Follow my TikTok, follow my Twitter, and I will see you in the next one.